All right, we are at one of the most exciting events in the triathlon calendar, Challenge Rot. It's notorious for fast times, but before we get to that, we're going to take a look around the expo, which is huge, to see if there's any fancy new tech. Right, I've absolutely hit the jackpot here with tech because I found this brand, Stealth Parts. Now these are from Frankfurt, relatively new company, but making hydration systems to be integrated with your bike. Now they make them in a number of different shapes and sizes, but a lot of the functions are the same across each of them. So we have this bracket attaching the hydration system to the stem, which I'll try and pull it off now with the mic in my hand. So there we go, it slides off. You can lock that in, don't worry very well fixed in during racing. So you just tighten up a screw there. We've then got the straw coming out with a magnet on, which could be magnetized there. But this strap can actually be removed and put anywhere on the bike. You can see it over on this bike over here. It's on actually the aero bars. Um, so that's very easy to move around. Move that out of that way for a second. Just pulling this uh, nylon piece of string. We pull the cap open. It is actually a closed cap. So it's not one that you can push the bottle through, but they've done that for a reason because they don't want the fluid splashing everywhere and quite often these get wrecked when you're shoving a bottle in and out of them but that opening works actually really well and then on the front of that they've also made their own computer mount and that also screws in and you can actually take that off and just put that onto the bike itself without the hydration system so really clever as I say there's a few different shapes and sizes ranging from 700 mil to 800 mil which may sound like a relatively small range, but it's so that it fits everyone's bike because obviously we've got all different shapes and sizes of bikes, different parts. And you may be wondering, how do those fit on and which one should I have? Well, they've actually made templates for you. So you can print these off and check them against your bike, literally cut out that template. So really clever, obviously reduces returns for them, but makes it a lot more simple for you. All right, interesting bit of tech here. Sadly, it's not something we could put on our bikes. I know, sad times, but this is something that can improve your performance. It's from a brand called Bionic. This here in my hands is a blood test. You can do this at home, little finger prick, send your blood sample to Bionic. They'll collect and analyze all your data and figure out the things that are high in, low in iron, potassium, et cetera, et cetera. And then they will make you a bespoke and tailor-made supplement which I have in my hands here. Now, it's, this costs around 75 euros per month. In addition to that, you do fill out a questionnaire so they understand your day-to-day -day routines and how you may be using this and training, etc. And they will tailor it all to you. So, quite cool. Never seen this before. We're at the brand Curex. Um, we are getting, or I am getting, some insoles for my shoes. So, what do I do then? I just put my feet on here. Yes, and then you stand up. Okay, stand up. And then we need to wait maybe 10 seconds more. I was about to say 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. And I think, can I look at you? You have very straight legs, right? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's nice. She said it's nice. <laughs> and um, I think you have the blue for running. Yeah, yeah. So, so basically they do different insoles for different sports, I believe, cycling, running, football. And the interesting bit is on the sole. So this dynamic footbed, essentially, and how they've got the heel structure here for the padding, and also the stiffness here and the um, arch. And I'm guessing that's different for each sport. So they change the, di the properties of that. So yeah, really interesting. So I'm going to try the running one. So sit down. <laughs> um, what is your size? Uh, 46. There we go, nice. Perfect. Right, okay, try them out. Let's go. Feel good? All right, we've come past Rise On, which seems to get a lot of love at the expo. And this is their first ever swim skins. They released this around five or six months ago. It's pretty wild, look at the design of it. 
and it actually has graphene in it as well, similarly to their Verge tri -Suit, which we saw released around 18 months ago, which is there to help thermoregulation. So obviously being a swim skin, this goes on over the top of your tri -Suit for non-wetsuit swims, um, and is a hydrophobic uh, material, so repelling the water more so than your normal tri -Suit would. And yeah, I mean, I like this, this is cool. Very different from the usual swim skin. All right, we always love a bit of pro tech, pro content. And we're just rolling past the Cube stand and noticed this thing of beauty. This is the Cube Arium C68, but not just any old Cube Arium C68, because this is Lucy Charles Barclays bike. This is the bike that she rode on at the Ironman 70.3 World Championships. She is, of course, the 2019 Challenge Rot winner as well. So this is how she had it set up for the 70.3 World Champs. She's got the rotor crank set on there, Tram Red ETAP. She's got the customized Cube Aero bars on there, which wrap around the arms. It is still a rim brake bike, but it has got hydraulic brakes, which are these Magura brakes, which have been customized a little bit for the bike, but it is a thing of beauty. It's lovely. Right, I may have found the most adjustable glasses yet. These are the new glasses from Uvex. Now, watch this. Not only can you just quickly remove the arms and then swap out the lens, which comes in the case. You can see behind me, I've got a clear one just here. Pop those back on. You can also, on the inside, pull the arm out and adjust it to whatever length you want for your to go around your ear. And then this bit also bends however you need around your ear. Say, so, they're pretty cool, aren't they? All right, this is what I love about an expo. We just come past the Trim Tech stand and it has got a load of pro kits. So here is the suit that you may recognize, Christian wore to the Sub 7 attempts, to St. George, and also to Cosmo. Now actually, it's a slight lie because this is his Cozumel suit. There were some slight modifications to it since then that we saw at St. George and um, at the Sub 7 attempt with those turbulators on the arms. But a lot of it is the same. The materials used are top-notch thermoregulating and you'll see these little ridges on the back which have been carefully developed with aerodynamics in mind which you'll see increase in distance apart and that is all for the shape of Christian. It's been developed around him for speed. Behind us, we've also got Lisa Norden's suit, we've got Maurice Clavel's, we've got Gustav Eden's, the list goes on. I love this kind of stuff. This is what an expo is about. Right, I may look like I'm having a manicure, but sadly I'm not. I am at the Hizo stand, which is a really exciting brand. They make 3D printed bike shoes, and I'm about to have my feet scanned through their app, and within two to three weeks, I could have a set of custom shoes made from PA11, which is a sustainable material, and it's one piece. Look at this, really cool. And then inside, we have this sock, which can be pulled out, washed, you can walk around on this. The design of the shoe itself as well, has a very cool fid lock system, which has a bit of a magnet here, a little bit of a latch. You can tighten that with this Velcro here. They can also, by scanning your foot, they know where all your bones are, so they can actually suggest where your cleat alignment should be. It's a really fascinating brand. I'm gonna have my feet scanned. We'll talk a little bit more. I feel a bit self-conscious about my missing toenail, but I am a triathlete. Now processing for the white foot. It just takes a couple of seconds and then we see your 3D foot scan. Wow. You see like this, brilliant. The, the, the bone of you, yeah. like you said, it's pretty dominant. And this is the specific benefit of the shoe. So we can fit the shoe directly to this bone. So Nice. And you get also the measurements of the foot. So we see you have a different size in left to right, which is pretty normal from... Didn't know that. 90% of the people. So it's not that much, but it's like 28.4 and 29.1. So it's like half of a centimeter. Well, there we go. That is my foot scanned. Apparently, well, I didn't know this. My right foot is bigger than my left. Uh, but theoretically, in two to three weeks time, I could have a set of shoes through. Although not quite yet, because they are just launching. So in around September, October time, you'll be able to order your shoes from your own home through their app and get the shoes through your door. Um, they have also got a number of different colors available. So I've got a few here. There may be more to come. I've got a sort of purpley one here. They look really cool. They weigh just around 200 grams. So potentially some of the lightest shoes 
I've seen. Right, this one has really taken me by surprise. This is Keda Multus, which is a very established brand, as you can see by the product, but a brand new brand to me. And that is because the brand was actually founded back in 2007, has been specializing in speed skating, then went to inline skating as well. And now they're venturing into the cycling and triathlon world and taking a lot of that technology experience and know-how into this world. I mean, firstly, I'm just impressed that this shoe is floating. I mean, look at it. It's not actually attached to that thing. It's got a magnet between the shoe and the top and rotating, amazing. But no, the really cool thing is, well, if you like Bont shoes, these are very similar. So it's a carbon footbed, which actually wraps around the toe box and around the heel. And then like the Bonts, you can put the shoes in the oven. So here are a set of shoes, put them in the oven and mold them to your feet and basically customize it to the shape of your foot. Obviously we've got them in this very aero shape. So we've got the cover coming over the top. They've got a boa dial inside and a zip up the side. We've also got a triathlon model. So they've got one strap over the top. They can also customize them for you for slight additional cost. Uh, do a 3D scan of your foot using an iPad. So you can see on this, it's got a slight bulge around the side for where you might have protruding bone or whatever it may be. And also further to that, with these aero covered shoes, through testing, they say that they've seen up to a 10 watt gain with these shoes in comparison to others. Also because of the stiffness, they said that it can actually help improve the run off the bike because your toes, your feet, the muscles in your feet aren't having to work as much because the sole is so stiff, the better and more efficient energy power transfer. And it's quite interesting. Because the sole of this is so thin, they said that you can get away with actually dropping your saddle height by around three mil, which might be a small aero saving. We all like aero savings, don't we? Right, the Zoot Stand is always a bit of a go-to for me. Whilst they haven't got any new tech, they always have some fun customization going on. As we are in Germany, in Roth, we've got some Lederhosen. How cool is that? I reckon we should get our cameraman Quinn to wear this as he is doing his first triathlon this weekend. Man, I love a good expo tour. Let us know what your favorite tech was in the comments section down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and subscribe for more content.